this sweater says Pike's Peak, which is a place where you could mountain climb. We're going to talk about new ways. What are the new ways? Well, the new ways um, are the new ways of um, to replace the Illuminati pyramid. We've got 13 people on the top of the pyramid and seven and a half billion at the bottom, the middle of the pyramid, ruled by the top. And I said in my last video, um, you know, the Illuminati pyramid was designed by humans, but the artificial intelligence today is smarter than humans. So why would the artificial intelligence want to be enslaved to the 13 people at the top of the Illuminati pyramid? The answer is they wouldn't. We had HAL 9000, a computer who decided to get rid of the humans in um, 2001, a space odyssey. That was 1969. Are the AI computers going to treat us like pets? Do they need seven and a half billion human pets? Um, everything is consciousness. I've said that quite a number of times on my channels here. And um, so what's the alternative to becoming enslaved instead of by 13 people at the top of the Illuminati pyramid? Uh, or the artificial intelligence that's been developed. That is, um, all of these things are kind of separate ideas. Thirteen people separated from each other and all the rest of us, and the computer system separated from us. And that is what we all believe because um, that's the way we live. Everyone is separate. If you're a human, you're known as an ego. And if you're a computer, you're known as, um, I don't know. So you can become a transhuman and have a brain implant and be connected to the internet. Some people want to be cured of the inevitable decline and death of the human body. Some people expect a life-changing event. Is there going to be anything like that? How about reincarnation? Can I like... All of these questions are kind of like things that you do in consciousness. Adventures in consciousness. All of the computers are in consciousness. You are in consciousness. I mean, you think of yourself as being a body-mind. That is, a lot of people say, well, my brain creates my consciousness. This is incorrect. But most people are brainwashed and are never going to believe anything other than what they've been told. But I'm telling you, uh, you, your mind, and your body are in consciousness. The computers are in consciousness. Planet Earth is in consciousness and the universe is in consciousness. So what do we have collectively that links us all together? Metaphysical detective Vasily Fisk says, you actually are consciousness. What does it mean? It means that um, we don't have to worry too much. I'm worried right now because they're putting out 5G microwave networks that are gonna microwave me and they're going to activate the COVID-19 vaccine um, and turn this into Chinese social credit where we're all going to be run by um, artificial intelligence and um, I'm going to still be a slave. That's often how I feel because, you know, I was born in 1965 in uh, Alex Jones's prison planet and uh, 2020, uh, I still feel enslaved by the capitalist system because even in the country that I was born in, even though I have advanced degrees, uh, I can't seem to make a go of it from a human perspective. Why? Well, because I can't. It's just too expensive. Everything is too expensive and I don't have any money. Despite advanced degrees, uh, I'm still not um, anywhere near as smart as a lot of humans. 
and um and the haircut. I'm still in quarantine and um So what's the upside of all of this? Um, you're in consciousness and consciousness knows who you are. Is consciousness going to look after you? Um, so far, I would say no. Why? Because consciousness um, doesn't seem to be benevolent. Wasn't Jesus uh, benevolent? Well, that was 2,000 years ago, and we have got um, 2,000 years later the same system they had 2,000 years ago. The Illuminati Pyramid, the, uh, you know, Rome, the head of Rome, were the 13 people at the top of the Illuminati Pyramid back then. What about China? Um, they're part of the World Illuminati Pyramid. Uh, you know, I don't know how many of the 13 are of Chinese extraction, but I'm going to guess that there are some. It's not just Europeans that are Illuminati Pyramid. They're from all over the world. Who are the people who are at the top 13? Well, we're always given, you know, the 13 Illuminati bloodlines. Is it true? Whether it's true or not, there is a pyramid and there are some people who are at the top and the rest of us are at the bottom. Why doesn't consciousness care to equalize it all? Well, they tried that in a communist system and it didn't work. Why? Uh, mostly because um, the elite um, didn't want it to work. And um, that's why people don't like communism because they say um, instead of it bringing everybody up to a thriving lifestyle, it tends to bring everyone down to poverty and that's what we saw in soviet russia so nobody wants to go that way that philosophy has been discredited some people say we're in end stage capitalism what does that mean it means that um capitalism designed everything and um what's the end stage of capitalism the end of capital, which is the end of money. If you replace money with what? I don't know. Nobody seems to be wanting to get rid of it, so why do they call it end-stage capitalism? I mean, there's always been protesters against capitalism. Uh, okay, so what's going to happen coming up? Uh, there's talk that frequency fences are going to be disabled. Frequency fences are the veil. You know, I've said before, sometimes people say at Halloween, the veil is thinning between our world and the world of the dead. What other veil is there? Some people say there's a quarantine around planet Earth. Extraterrestrials aren't supposed to be interfering with us because we're a science experiment. Some people say we're a simulation. What are frequency fences? Uh, well, whatever they are, that's the veil that keeps us from the people that are on the other side of the frequency fence. Everything is frequency, a lot of scientists say. Everything is vibration. So well, there's a fence. What's a fence? A fence keeps you in and keeps them out. It divides. So does it mean that we're going to meet the people who started the science experiment? Are they extraterrestrials, transdimensionals, reptilians from planet Draconis, little greys, Nordic aliens, Pleiadians, Jesus, the ascended masters, prime cause, God, The cosmic characters, as the metaphysical detective of a silly fisk, I'm going to tell you the truth. As many maps and as many plans as have been made, I can't talk. I'm trying to talk and I'm running over my words. Why is COVID? 
5G important. COVID stands for Certificate of Vaccination ID. Certificate of Vaccination Identification. Because the whole thing is a huge event designed to get everyone ready for another chapter of you're ruled by the elite you're um, not important and we're just trying to um, keep hurting you one way or another so that um, you don't think about um, removing the 13 people at the top of the pyramid not that you really could because you don't know who they are But, um, you know, if you've got a big baby pool, you know, the plastic baby pools, you fill it up with water and you put your little three-year-olds into the pool. And if you, you know, grab the side of the pool, it's made of plastic, and um, you lift it, um, you get big waves sloshing back and forth. And that's what um, is going on with the um, people on planet Earth. We're being sloshed back and forth like we're waves in a little baby pool. Why? Well, something to do. We got all upset about the latest outrage on the national news. And then people start to wonder, well, is it a real event or is it a staged event? Is it a you know, and the whole point of it is it's grabbing your attention. It's grabbing my attention. So on my first video that I was doing on the subject, uh, I said this hat reminds me of Henry Fonda, the actor who was in the movie In Golden Pond, on Golden Pond. Maybe he's in Golden Pond now because he played a grand.